Hello and welcome back. Today we are playing Victoria 3. We are playing as Armenia. And what we will be doing today is we will be declaring independence from Russia. Currently we've added, you know, we've added quite a bit to our market here. We took over Colombia. We've gotten Egypt into our market, Hejaz, uh, Iraq. And these are all really in Russia's market because we are a protectorate under Russia. And we wanted to get independence so that we can start doing our own thing a little bit. Uh, so that we can be a great power. Um, we're currently just barely infamous, and so this is the threshold we've been waiting for, where we can still kind of get some people into our market, uh, more or less, but also get to be a great power ourselves. And so we will be going for independence. Now, we have a save before this, uh, because we're continuing on through from last time we were playing. And uh, if we can't get Austria... Uh, to help us out. We probably won't do this war, so but we can't tell if we can get Austria or not. Uh, we've been improving relations with Austria and Prussia. We're hoping either one of those uh, kind of does well. We also, Austria just finished a war with Prussia. Mom and dad were fighting, and we didn't like that. But now that they're not fighting, here we go. So right away, we can sway Austria, it looks like. And they want to subjugate us. And return Sakhalin. And so we will probably try and, uh... Oh, we can't have them return. But we will look to liberate other countries in the Caucasus, I think. Um, and, uh... So we can swallow them up, slash get them into our customs union. But before, we will get Austria onto our side. And make sure we can, and also see who potentially joins in against us. If, um... One thing that might cause us to reload here... Uh, that is fairly probable is Austria joins us and then Prussia wanting to fight Austria again joins Russia and so this is kind of a way in which things could go rather poorly but we will see how that shakes out we have quite a few subjects now and let's say Austria pretty please what can we offer a regime change would be quite nice um, I believe it also only takes 20 maneuvers not okay in the Duchy of Finland, interesting. Um, we kind of actually would prefer to do a, a war goal that kneecaps Russia a little. So we could offer them to conquer a state. We could offer them lesser Poland or something. Could also offer them Lesberia. We might want to release Ukraine, though, at some point, which would release here. But we could give Austria this. But I think I like the idea of giving Austria territory. I think I like giving them that so that we have 80 maneuvers to work with ourselves for other stuff. So we will do... Uh, let's see. Yep, we will get them on with Bezberia. Because those are also going to be cheap. Or actually... Hmm. Could take a treaty port as well. In terms of minimizing... Uh, border gore, giving a treaty port from here would be best. But I don't think that's how that works. So we will... Just give them... Actually, in terms of having nice looking borders, I think I like giving them Poland here, lesser Poland. We will have fewer maneuvers. Hopefully that's not catastrophically bad. I think that we're gonna wanna spend 70 maneuvers anyways though, so I don't think it matters. Uh, Cause I think we're gonna re wanna release two nations and take war reps from Russia. I suppose if someone else big joins and we want decide we wanna take the fight anyways, it'll be a little awkward. Spain size with Russia. So Spain it would be an example. Austria sides with us. And now we just have to hope that we do not get Prussia against us. We can take on Spain, that's fine. But we cannot take on Prussia, uh, Prussia and Russia. That's too many Ushas. A 
It looks like Prussia can't even get involved. So we will add our other war goals here. We will look to liberate Georgia. And I think as... I wish I knew geography a little bit better. Georgia and I think Azerbaijan. Can't remember which one would be like adjacent. Maybe Dagestan. I don't know which one's like right here and which one's like right here. Alright, we'll just liberate Dagestan. And then we will get war reps from Russia. And that's all of our maneuvers, which is why we kind of didn't mind giving them lesser pull end up here. Ooh, that would explain why Prussia is not interested in this. They are fearful, but they're only... Oh, but they're in bankruptcy, so they actually probably back down here. That's interesting. The price of war. What about the price of prices? Enactment chance? Um kind of like having approval rating of trade units but we have a ton of right now but part of this is going to be just because we're trying to pass the law change so it's giving plus 10 it's not going to give plus 10 forever but this also won't be around forever either we'll just take this enactment chance this 10 percent and would not be surprised to see them just back down here I didn't realize they were running so much debt. It's kind of interesting. This is... Wait, they're bankruptcy, but they have gold reserves. This is like, this sh these two shouldn't be around at the same time. Didn't realize they'd gone bankrupt though. They're gonna have more problems once we leave them. Of course, this will decrease the amount of people we can siphon off from them in terms of pops, but then we expand the market ourselves as well, where that's gonna be the goal. Um, probably the first one we're gonna wanna get in is gonna be Japan. So we'll start improving relations. Hopefully they're not belligerent. We do want also want to take Beijing, like the state, because we want to get the Forbidden City to try and maintain high legitimacy despite the shuffling that we're going to do uh, in terms of government. Which I think the head of state will always be in government with the current, with our democratic republic. So it's just plus 20 legitimacy, just flat, which is super, super strong. Like we're, we're doing pretty good recovering on this front in terms of loyalists versus these guys. This is creeping up. We're kind of okay with that. It's especially creeping up in newly acquired territories, which is good. Um, what we've prepared for. Also, people will leave these areas to come to more, you know, Armenia proper, as it were. But I really wanted to sink my teeth into some Caucasus territory, so... We could probably protect these guys once we have an adjacency. Let's start bankrolling them. Start bankrolling Circassia as well. Austria abandons us. Why did you abandon us? Well, they're in bankruptcy, so I think we can win this anyways. It's a little bit um, annoying, I suppose. But I think we're still going to take this if they're in bankruptcy. Because they are not going to be very strong. Of course, they have no one on this front yet, so and we will have to contend with the Spanish. But worst case scenario, we reload. Ah, this is why, because Austria just randomly gets another war, war with Prussia. I guess the Prussian Revolution won. Uh, they literally just finished a war with Prussia, but my guess is the Prussian Revolution won, and then New Prussia declared war on them for German leadership. Or did they declare war on New <laughs> New Prussia for German leadership? I thought they already. I thought Austria already had leadership. So they're, okay, they're the initiator. Yeah, this is stupid as hell. They literally just finished fighting that war, but just because they got a revolution, they get to fight it again. It's like, okay, well, you got me, bud. Now, where is the capital of Russia? I think, as someone pointed out, it should be in, like, St. Petersburg, not Moscow. Caucus HQ. Where's Russia HQ? Baltic HQ? Russia HQ. All right. So, we will try and do a little bit of the land here. Not with our biggest guy, but with our second biggest, I think. 
some bats. Seems fine. And then we will be just raiding convoys in the Black Sea. Because the plan. Yikes. Minus 13. We'll add to naval defense. The landowners are irrelevant, so we'll just take that. This is not ideal. So, they're a little bit stronger than I thought they would be. So we'll just do some of this action here. And I think we will have to up military wages off the back of this. I think we'll still be in okay shape. We have to make sure that... I wish there was an easier way to... Alright, so there's... Sumbat is here. And the Caucus HQ. And someone else... Toshin. Alexander Meliuk as well. We will promote him. And he's pretty good, but he's armed forces, so we don't want to promote him. He's... I guess we can promote him. And now we should have no one in reserve. Which is the goal. And now we are winning on this front, largely off the fact that they have bankruptcy. Although we are not that far from that fate. Hopefully we can continue growing the economy at a rate that uh, outstrips problems. I think maybe we take this guy and we put him on one of these fronts, though. Forgot that we uh, vassalized these boyos. Mexico, I'm guessing, is getting clapped by the U.S. Would be my guess. Are gonna win this first battle here. And we also have a landing coming in. We do need to expand the queue. Some of these are finishing. So there's currently no demand for uh, phones, but we will do this and create demand for phones. Which, of course, will raise the price of phones, and we will do it everywhere. So that we're running a 1k excess, I think. Which is not too big a deal. We could do assembly lines. So the oil is not too expensive in our market right now, but it just always gets expensive. So it's, like, never worth it long term, so... Where is... Are they in here? They are. Let's do all on telephone switchboards. Yikes, that's a lot of telephone switchboards. And that should make the business very, very profitable. And now what we can do in the journal is we can survey the Suez, which we want to do. Treasury bonds is activated, which is fantastic, because the loan interest rate is pretty big deal. Um, you know, it's decreased how much we're hemorrhaging by quite a bit. I think uh, we just promoted their, one of their generals. I don't think that get, adds to loyalists. No, it doesn't, but... The fact that we're generating more loyalists is helping. Battle's going good, too. And we get a nice landing. A little higher than we would have wanted. We would have wanted closer to the capital, but doing okay here. I think we're going to move a small guy to this front. We're relatively small, because we have, like, two fronts. We have a split front here. We don't want it to collapse because there's just one unit advancing into us or something. Which, of course, makes us weaker here. <clears throat> but this is fine. We do need to expand other stuff. Let's go into resources and just kind of tap everything. And then let's 
see where we need rails here. No, doing pretty good. Gonna need it there. Gonna need some there eventually. Gonna need it there. Gonna need it in Costa Rica. Of course, they have like kind of a weird, separate, different problem. We'll take this to try and keep going. I don't think we can recruit a general. No, we can't. A little bit unfortunate the way this shook out. We would like the 60 guy over here. And just the one guy is going to cock block us. It's kind of annoying. He's going to advance if we don't move something to that front. But hopefully this front clears up quickly. And then we can move this guy to this front over here. The level of micromanagement required, given that this is supposed to feel entirely automated, is a little uh, uncomfortable. You know, just like losing wars because you have someone in the back line just completely cutting you off is like the most aggravating thing. Or is a quite aggravating thing. We are headed towards the Russia HQ here in terms of our landing. And we will probably get there soonish, and then we will have our market kind of implode a little bit. Which, I mean, maybe we should have tried to run a bigger surplus before doing this. We could also just increase taxes by quite a bit, but I am pretty happy that we are in righteous government generating loyalists at a good rate, so I don't want to increase taxes. Could add consumption taxes at the expense of uh, not bolstering and not suppressing. I think I'm fine not suppressing this for a little while to try and uh, pull up that a little bit. We can just tax services. I think I'd rather tax two luxury goods though. Um, and now we're making money. Which of course will kind of slow down our loyalist gain a little bit, but I think that'll be okay. Uh, it slows down our loyalist gain because people have to pay more for goods and so their standard of living dips a little bit, which is fine. You know, if we have if we flatten this out a little bit, that's okay with us. We do like the minus loan interest rate and the minting, though. That'll help out a lot. Which is why we were researching it, as it were. I guess we could start going into military stuff. You know... Don't hate trench works. I suppose we could go to mnemonic tools as well. Electric arc process would be decent. Yeah, we'll just do this. And into the queue, we will add kind of the stuff we didn't expand, which is these mines, and these mines, and these mines. Just looking to add a smattering all over the place. And then we will take a look over here. So you don't have access at all, do you? Yep, that's a problem. We will add a port. Definitely need a port. And you also don't have access, so we will add a port there. Yikes. And then some oil. Gotta love the oil. Unionize leverage. Well, we want the enactment chance. So... I'm pretty sure this doesn't affect what bonuses we're getting. The industrialists really don't like us anyways. Although I guess we don't want them to radicalize, so keeping them up above minus 10 is decent. It's a good shout. They're just collapsing over here. I think we will swap the 60 guy. Especially because he has a bonus on the supply. Over to here, to this front. To try and push this. Which will, of course, will slow us down here. Are they out of bankruptcy? That might be the case here. Mm -hmm. We should switch this guy off of raiding convoys, I think. I think we should just have him uh, escort the convoys.
Oh, we do have the war goals, so I guess we, we're we going to get a lot of ticket war score here as well. It's kind of unfortunate this is like collapsing. Really don't want to get pushed off of this here. I think this is going to make him capitulate, capitulate, capitulate a lot faster. We can afford the other survey, so we're going to survey both at the same time. Hopefully this won't come back to bite us. We are not going to need to expand the bureaucracy for quite a while. The industrialists have been losing power here. We don't like that. We are trying to get the rural folk above 4% so they will be no longer marginalized. After which, I think it's... I think they tend to gain once they're no longer marginalized, so... Get a ton of generals moved, which is always a bad sign. Ah, uh, this is not too bad, actually. We are winning this battle. And we're advancing, so that's... Fantastic. Hopefully, but it doesn't look like we're advancing towards his HQ, which is a little bit annoying. We do want to get the capital as quickly as possible, but we... Yeah, we don't have a... It looks like we have occupied all the territory we need to enforce on the war goals. <clears throat> and he notably has not occupied us. What's this about? Whoa. That's just allies? Oh, it's just Egypt. Okay, fair enough. It wouldn't make sense that you would want to advance out of there. Definitely... Let's see, the standard of living is rising in the places we've taken over. As the radicals drop, loyalists increase by quite a good amount. Everyone's happy. Which is starting to translate. The best bonuses come from the trade unionists, and then the intelligentsia. We would really like to reactivate migration attraction, but uh, ooh, this is a tough one to take a hit. And we get old age pensions, which will drive up... Uh, some of the power of the... We'll give it enfranchisement to the dependents and also decrease the, the minus political strength. So we are hoping... What we are hoping is this gets the rural folk out of the doldrums here. And then we can instead try and bolster the industrialists to make up for the fact that poor laws are kind of... Are in the aggregate going to weaken them. It's kind of my thoughts on why we passed that. I think we are pretty set with a lot of our stuff. We could switch from P Seeker Police, which is helping us suppression our suppression impact, and go to Guaranteed Libs, which I think long-term actually is kind of something we we're interested in. Fortunately, not a lot of people support Guaranteed Libs right now. Why can't we swap? I'm gonna radicalize the armed forces and the bourgeoisie. Wait, why can't we swap? Oh, because we, <laughs> we are outlawing dissent. So we could swap to... Rights of Assembly, switch that over, then swap back to Outlaw Descent. I don't think that move is going to be comfortable enough. So we'll just stick with Secret Police, even though it's worse overall. We have the Social Democratic Party, which is kind of nice. We want these all to be split up. It's because these guys are went jingoist instead of communist, which is fantastic, because now we can do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Oh, interesting that this is super legitimate. So we could go with this. Which would allow us to increase taxes a little bit. Is that us enforcing on them? No. Someone else enforcing on them, I guess? Or white piecing with someone, I think? It looked like that was against the US. They must have just white pieced out. Or. What is this? Mexico gained back land or something? I don't know. I guess I could have read it. My eyes. Why is reading so hard? Yeah, we have the minus, but our troops are better, so we're still pushing in anyways. Looks like, despite not having advantage. I really think we can't come off Outlaw Descent, because we really need all the authority that we are getting from it to do the bolstering and such. And we are going to come off these consumption taxes. The main reason we're doing them now is because I want to not be in such a big deficit when we get uh, separated from Russia's economy because I imagine we're going to have some significant pains, um, growing pains. So we got a skyscraper site, lay down the foundations, foundations, and then we'll add the skyscraper to the queue. Thank you. pretty good over here 
we will want to add oil rigs. I'm gonna declare neutrality. Gonna clear stuff out. A little bit of a waiting game here. I guess we could take a look at. Well, we actually just are kind of playing a waiting game here. We don't know what our economy is gonna really need too much once we get ejected. Other than the natural resources, which I think is mostly what Russia is contributing to the market, I suppose this we would want at a higher level just for the throughput bonus, but it's not going to become very profitable until we get radio. Radio. So the question we have to ask is, do we want the Social Democratic Party to gain... Well... Would we want them to win the election, and are they even close to winning the election? The answer is they're not close at all, so we can just give them the momentum and then take the free throughput. They're not going to win the election, the intelligentsia are. Which is, I guess, a little unfortunate, because we do want to suppress the Liberal Party, but this is okay for now. We do have... Yeah, we need to get... Once the election pops, though, I do think... It will recalculate the clout on the rural folk, and they will be uh, big happy. Let's take a look what we're doing in subsidies and welfare. Welfare has gone up by quite a bit. Subsidies are pretty stable. I think this is after we pass the new welfare law. But I think this is fine. Not too worried about it. We were looking for stuff to construct. I mean, I guess... You get to build a tooling workshop somewhere else. Tools are usually pretty good. So are clothes, though. We don't have clothes anywhere else. Why don't we put down clothes here, then? Should I handle that? We are wanting to run high influence, so we decay our uh, infamy even faster, which is kind of why we're not spending any of that. We do want to get down to 25 pretty quick and try and diplo get people into our market, which is why we're starting to bankroll some people. Both Circassia and the Caucasus over here. Do want to have nicer looking borders, so that's kind of why we're up in here. We do want to subjugate them at some point. But maybe we want to do it through getting them in the Diplo Union. So let's try improving relations. Which only eats a little bit of that. We will probably want to... We are already helping the Kurds out. I think we're going to want to take this state from the Ottomans. Which is going to be a lot of infamy, but just for Border Gore reasons. Probably this state as well. Again, for Border Gore reasons. I want to minimize the Gore. This is a family-friendly fam stream, except it's not. It's not a stream, nor is it family-friendly. Voltaire would be proud. It's nearly holy, no Roman. Um, yeah, you're having some problems, my brother. Hijack something. Do we like this guy? He's hated. Uh, he's bigoted. He's an expert offensive player. We still need general. Now he gets syphilis. Well, he'll die sooner. You win some, you lose some, you know. We are getting the close, close to the point where we are no longer getting any colony expansion, which kind of sucks, but it also gives us extra bureaucracy. Um, we're kind of overbuilt on the bureaucracy a little bit. But eventually we want to kick this stuff down. We think we want to keep Social Security right here. Generally speaking, this is the way I like to inject welfare, is through Social Security with the uh, old age pension law. It seems the most efficient way, rather than doing like wage subsidies, but okay. We can go after next level health system as well. It's the last thing we need, but... Why did so many people move off this front? What the hell? Oh my god. I hate, like, the auto-moving. It's so obnoxious. 
we do not want it just to get a bunch of devastation in our capital. Yeah, I guess I should have taken a closer look once I saw we were, like, doing so well up here. It means, like, we must be doing terrible down there, but, like, guys move off the front automatically in a way that just, like, crushes you, and it's, like, the whole point is you don't have to micromanage fronts, but, like, except you do. And it lures you into a false sense of security. Alright. We are our own market, and we are paused. Uh... We are clearing that. I think we don't have any PM changes over here. Not up in here. That we want to put in at least. But now we are running a deficit. The economy is probably all kinds of weird. We do not have enough of a lot of things. We are running shortages of all the stuff that Russia was providing. So we are going to try and import it. Yikes, and we don't have an adjacency with Russia because we released these guys. Rip, rip the dream. That was maybe a mistake. Uh, we will bankroll them and try and get them in our customs union. But yeah, that is a uh, big yikes because we're not adjacent with Russia. I didn't even think about that. I should have thought about that, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. Um... So let's make a couple changes real quick. We'll just put everything on industrial port, which is going to cost a lot more. Well, no, we won't do that yet, but we will look to do that in a second. <sighs> Got to compose myself. All right, so this is one of our bigger... We No, we are making definitely more coal than this. So let's wait for Monday to for everything to readjust because we are definitely have more sell orders of coal than this. Like, way more sell orders of coal than that. I'm not even buying that we only make 800. But I am buying that we would need some, so... Let's import steel from, I guess, Austria's market? And... We definitely produce rubber ourselves. So this needs to readjust. And we can import wood from the Shing. Let's import it from the Ottomans though, because we're adjacent. And hardwood from probably the Ottomans again. Uh, they're not making a lot. Um, yeah, okay, this looks more like it. Where we actually make more iron than we use, so this isn't something that we necessarily need to import. We do have more expensive coal, so let's import it from Austria. And we aren't making enough steamers, but do we have the potential to make enough steamers? Yeah, so we have a ton of- this, these are just gonna recruit. They're gonna employ. And we can't encourage stuff. We have unproductive trade routes. But we just put these in place, my guy. We are importing grain from the Chinese. Okay, I guess we'll keep that and we'll guess we'll keep that. We are importing coal, but it's not very... Or, no, we wanted that one. We wanted that one. I think that might be the only other one we want. What's super cheap in our market as well? Because we can look to export that. Wowza, is that really our oil balance? Those are really cheap. We could export them to Russia. And Qing. I think I like exporting them to places that we are adjacent to for now. We could try and get the Ottomans in our market. I mean, we don't really want the dirt we want from them. 
the dirt that we want from them is like uh, not that so we want this dirt for border gore reasons but it's really not that valuable i don't think oil spawns there and then this it's just the logging camps and the arable land so like how do you feel about us though maybe we bankroll you Right, and then do a bunch of trade with you. So let's go to Ottoman Market, trade routes, and try and get them inside of our market. So let's import wood from them. And that would also get us adjacent to Austria, which would be huge, because then we wouldn't have to use convoys. So I guess, all right, what do you have really, really expensive, dear Ottomans? Steamers, we cannot export to them can't export oh they don't they currently don't have any so we have to go export trade routes we will export to you guys steamers what is that ironclads that's ironclads so we'll export ironclads to you if i can read i can read and then we'll export ammo and small arms And I know it's not profitable, but we're just trying to increase the trade volume so we can pull them into the market. Which this is a lot, big part of what we're going to be doing now. And then we can also export to you sugar and engines. I don't, I don't understand why it's not profitable for us to be exporting when they're running shortages of these things, but... Wow, you have really expensive... Well, I don't want to export iron to them, but they have expensive croissants. So we'll export to them. The croissants, the finished goods, is mainly what we want to put in. And, of course, they do have an obsession with luxury furniture, so we'll send it. And what's really cheap for them is we can import their fertilizer, we can import their wood... And their silk, I guess. Gotta go to import. I think the wood wasn't even profitable when we checked. Alright, we're already importing. And then... I guess maybe their fabric is a little cheap. Yeah, it's cheap for us, so we'll do that. We'll also do that with the Syrians. Let's take a look at the Syrian market. We can import grain from them. And fabric, we're already, I think we already clicked the fabric. We can also import tobacco. That's wacky. Can't import it from them. At least not very well. We can import hella fruit. And meat and wine and sugar. And fish. You did have like a fish shortage. And to you we can export, ooh you have expensive paper, that sucks. Export coal, tools, really need the tools, geez. Don't know why that's not profitable. Softwood. Paper, about. More than happy to export the finished goods like furniture. And clothes, I assume clothes, nope, we're already exporting clothes. Can export tea to them, exporting clothes to them already. Can export glass and small arms. Let's just do the glass, save us a little bit of clicking. I think they'll be wanting to come into our market soon here.
We can annex you for just one infamy. Probably is a good idea. Gives us adjacencies with all these other markets as well. that we'll increase our I guess one reason to not do it is the radical is loyalist balance but this is okay we're now out of legitimate le legitimate range oh who won the election I didn't even see I mean I guess we'll be able to figure it out pretty easy probably the probably the intelligentsia if this is what's the the best party is which we might just go with this. There's no laws we want to pass. There is a, and taking the armed forces out is great because we would want to suppress them. A um, little bit disappointed to not see the rural folk make it up into the, into the bigger groups, but we will suppress the armed forces, the communist party as it were. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Are we finally a big, I guess it's the, all these trade routes. Thinking. Let's see, our Armenian market is still, like, all messed up, but it's like... Things have to think, I think. Like, it's still trying to sort it out. Well, let's import sugar from the Austrians, maybe? It's not very productive. We could just, yeah, let's just stick with the Qing, which is more productive. And then our own ammo should pick up. Does Russia really have the opium all locked up? I thought we had a lot from here. We have super, we have kind of cheap rubber. Cheap oil. I guess we might as well use the oil. Well, that's not even profitable, but okay. Assembly lines is. Which uh, saves us a lot of labor. It's kind of the main thing. Do quite a bit of oil. We could also do bolt action rifles, but I don't want to use the oil in that way. I do want to have the air airship mooring post. Can't not have that. I mean, wood's kind of expensive in our market. We could switch this. This just saves labor. It's not even productive. Yeah. I think we still are having stuff adjust is like the big problem. I think stuff's not adjusted yet. Yeah, because you can employ, but like our engines are expensive, but you guys can employ more, so you know. Our rack backs down. Giving us the primary war goal. I don't think we're going to look to incorporate these guys because these guys will have a bunch of oil. If we keep them unincorporated, there will be a little bit better. Oops. That was an accident. Alright, we will look to... So maybe... I don't know what plant we want these guys to specialize in. Maybe do rice here. But we're definitely going to want more fish, so we'll just use that to finish out, to employ some of these guys we've uh, taken the jobs away from. And then, what do we want here in the arable land? So we want to have all of one thing to maximize the throughput bonus. I guess we could have rice. The problem is we can build grain in a lot of places. We can't build silk in a lot of places, so I'm just going to put 10 silk bees down here, and then we'll... Just delete some of these other ones later and put up the silk. Let's do that. 
think, yeah, we have you all sorted out here to have the maximum throughput bonus we possibly can. And stuff is thinking and adjusting here. Like our, we had enough ammo production, I think, at the capital, right? That we can employ up and do it. And Georgia, can we invite you to the customs union? No, not yet. Dagestan, can we invite you to the customs union? No, but we can start bankrolling you. We're bankrolling you. Romania got independence, interesting. Long live Romania. Which is quite a fun run. We're in the Italian market, Italian market. So we will not be Diplo getting you in, but we're looking to Diplo get Argentina in as well as uh, Chile. So we'll start improving relations and we'll start bankrolling you instead of improving relations. Trying to get you guys into the market. So we would want to make get these guys in the market, but uh, especially because they have such a high pop for us to siphon off. But that'll be tough. We are the number one great power. High standard of living, pretty high pop. Sort by GDP, we are the biggest. Oil discovered in Oman. Oman. We'll do that. So now we'll check in on our market and say, how are things going? What's going on? We're exporting, yeah, we're exporting to them, but that's not a good route at all. But we're importing from a few people, we just have to have it wind up. Don't want them to be antagonistic. You're genial. We can absolve the obligation to make them friendly. And now once we get another obligation, we will be able to pull them into the market. So we will absolve them as well. Kurdistan we can get in using the obligation, so we will do that. Dagestan, we don't have an obligation. We'll absolve the obligation of Argentina to make them cordial. So now, our market expands. I said our market expands. Mmm, Kurdistan. So we could also take off our two consumption taxes if we wanted to bolster the industrialists, which is kind of in the market for, also kind of in the market for bolstering the trade unions back to powerful. We'd really like to see that. Oh, the opium guy is the one who we got syphilis to? That's not ideal, I don't think. Actually, well, if he dies, then he's not so popular. So really good leader though. So why don't we take these off though? Ooh, why don't we learn how to play the game? That'd be great. And then bolster these guys. We want these guys to have the 20% bonus real bad. God, we really want... We'd rather have guaranteed libs here. I mean... How bad would it be to swap and then swap back, really? Just rights of assembly and then back to censorship. And then back to outlawed descent. A little bit of whiplash, but... It might be necessary to get all the bonuses we want, because we <sighs> These also will make the trade units happy in the short term. It'll make the petite bourgeoisie... But in the long term, this is going to piss people off quite a bit, this little jump around thing. But I think that we're not getting enough out of secret police. The, the increased suppression impact especially is diminished when you take into account that we're also getting the suppression bolster impact from... Outlawed Descent. Hmm. 
I think we go for it, actually. But just to rights of assembly. Which, of course, is going to make some groups really happy. Like, notably, the Intelligentsia are now going to be giving us the migration, which we love. And uh, then we'll swap back out all for this later. We do have quite a bit of non-using construction, so let's use it. We also can declare a war here. I think you just need employment in Panama there. And then, what war can we do that would be nice? We could annex Egypt. That's a lot of infamy though. Start damaging their relations. I guess we actually just kind of want to chill because our infamy is still high. We only want to take wars that are really almost no infamy gained. We are running a larger deficit now that we are not taxing as much. It would be nice if they were one pip higher here, but they're not. Rural folk, you should be deep marginalized. I guess maybe you have to get it to 5%. Oh, it's 5%. Okay. Well, we get a skyscraper. That's nice. Magnificent achievement. And now... Show me that blimp. Where'd that blimp at? We have the blimp PM. Show me the blimp. Where are you at? Where's the blimp? Where are you at? Alright. That's enough of that, I guess. Can we invite you to the customs union? You have an obligation. We can. We'll use the obligation. We should be able to get them now. Guess we can't get them in. But now we're adjacent to Circassia, so it should be easier to get them in. Can't quite yet. How about you guys? Nope, not quite yet. Okay, but George is in. We're running a just a massive bureaucracy surplus here. Could delete some of these buildings. Don't really want to fire people though. I mean, but we could just... Alright. Seems fine to do, considering we are running two surveys at the same time. And we will proc freedom of thought, because as soon as we get uh, the law passed, even though we're going to go back to outlaw descent if we can. A little bit risky, but... I don't know, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit sometimes. I get trade unions above 20% again to double these really strong bonuses of workforce ratio and throughput bonus. Rural folk are up in there again, and now they are giving us logging industry, agriculture, and ranches throughput. And we get rights of assembly, which of course now we got to stop suppressing someone for now. Yeah, we're going to stop suppressing them for now. We're gonna get three to freedom of thought, freedom of fraught. We need an arts academy that's employed. What, as well? Oh, yikes. Why don't we switch you to independent artists and expand you a little bit? But that is yikes. But now we can swap. Guaranteed liberties in. We will radicalize a couple groups. That's fine. Not powerful enough to rev us. I'm gonna do this a little bit quick. And then, uh. 
to end of resource industries. Actually, what is what is expensive? Sugar. Sugar continues to be expensive. I know we can make sugar up in this puzzle somewhere. Somewhere. All right, so we're gonna switch you to sugar. You're not even that. All right, this is we're gonna specialize in sugar here, I think. So we're gonna do some of this, which of course will require some of this. Happy that these guys have gotten into the thick of things. So we now have all the groups non-marginalized that we want non-marginalized. And so now it's just a question of getting the right amount of everything, which hopefully once we get guaranteed libs, we can switch back to Outlaw Descent and have a go at it. We would really benefit a lot from having Beijing. we need to get a little bit more oomph before that. Let's take a look. How are we doing on generals? Pretty okay. I mean, we could expand the military a bit. Welfare payments are a little expensive. Subsidies are a little expensive. Let's just go through our buildings and make sure we have the right uh, stuff. living is dipping a little bit overall but I think that's because the population is growing now are we just less productive yeah so we had this dip once we got free from the Russian market we are gonna have to try and um, you know export a lot of our finished goods I think that means we need to recruit an uh, admiral? No, we don't. Okay. He was just the leader of the IG. Really want this to get to 20 gonna keep it on there a little bit longer and then we try to get these guys to 20 really gotta suppress the liberals a little bit hmm I wonder if there's a tech we could research in society that makes us go well this is not spreading to us but that might help a lot of uh, radicalism. I think we blame the police for cracking heads. We're gonna have to create some export routes. We could try and get Persia in our market as well. Let's start improving relations with them and take a look at the Persian market and try and make things work. So they need steel, sex appeal, Okay, uh, let's export explosives to... No, what? Why can't we export... Oh, we need a... Oh, we also can declare strategic interest. We have an interest in the region. Hmm. But we have a whole bunch of extra interest now, so we can do a lot of this. 
which will allow people to start trade routes with us as well. Forgot about that, but why can't we trade with you? Is your market closed? All right, we could, we should be able to export clothes to you. No, we can't. Either Armenia or Persia must have a strategic interest in where the country's market is present. But we do have an interest in your region. Yeah. Is our market just not open? Let's just try and open their market then. Seek abandonment, bro. I imagine they just back down here. Oh, they're offering us obligation. That might have been worth. That actually would have been worth. Damn. Oh well. We can take on their debt. And then absolve. The oh no, wait. They're in the Russian market. I mean, we could still take on their debt, though. But it looks like we can't force them into our market. We can absolve these guys' obligation. Will you change to our customs union? Close, but now you'll be friendly, so you will be much closer. We can start bankrolling Chile as well. We will absolve this obligation and then stop bankrolling to refund some of our diplo. We will absolve the obligation of Caucasians. Georgia, we will stop bankrolling to fund some of our diplo, because they actually no, we'll keep it on Georgia. Because I think Georgia is gonna be the first one we want to protect it, slash annex. We'll absolve our obligations with the Ottomans. So now they're cordial. Dagestan, we don't have an obligation. Quickly looking through them. We're in the end game now, the Diplo game. Persia, I think, is going to back down here. And so we can ask ourselves why doesn't Syria want to come in? Well, they're mad at us. We will accept that trade agreement. Do you want to get the Ottomans in, the kebab? We get guaranteed libs. Now. Now that we have guaranteed liberties, we want to go back to censorship. So, we are going to reform the government. We're going to pull the Liberal Party out. We're going to put in the... Ugh. Is there really not a good way to do this? Is there a way to put the petite bourgeoisie in gov? This is it. Okay. Mm this is a little bit better. This is going to be a painful, bumpy experience. We're going to up taxes a little bit. Because it's not going to lower us below contested. And we are going to go for censorship. Now... This will, they'll oppose it. Oh, they'll still be full happy if we do this. If we go outlaw descent. So we're going to go for outlaw descent again. Because they're so, so happy with us. They're not, <laughs> we're still getting, we're still extracting the bonus from them. Although, maybe we won't be for long. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but the government is contested. So, Afghanistan sides with Persia. Makran sides with Persia. I don't think this goes off, right? We're just, yeah, we're too much stronger than him. I, with a 51, they'd probably back down. Otherwise, we would look to puppet some of the people in back, like Afghanistan would be a decent pup target. Um, so we will not do that at this point. We also can afford to construct a lot more up in this bizzle. All 
are helping with that. Coffee is really productive here, so I guess I wouldn't mind making this a coffee place. We don't really have a dyes place, though. Oh, we do in collabs. This place is already making a decent amount of coffee, so we'll delete the other ones and we will go full coffee here. In Panama. Nice coffee, brother. It's still going up, it seems, despite us raising taxes, which should lower SOL, but a lot of our market adjusting is also going to be kicking around this SOL. I think we want to export this if we it's so cheap. What's ex oh, we now are adjacent with Russia. That's a big deal. It's going to be very good for us. Uh, can also export it to the Syrians and the Ottomans. We really don't have to worry too much about bureaucracy cost of these at this point. Let's see. We don't really want to export the inputs. We do want to export finished goods in general, so we'll export furniture to the Russians, which is going to make our furniture much more profitable. We want to export the, probably this to the Russians as well. They were really dependent on us for these finished goods, and so we're more than happy to continue this relationship in that regard. And then we really want to import more so the inputs. So we'd love to get the sugar from the Russians. Also coal from anyone. Yikes, that's uncomfortable. Well, I guess since coal is so expensive, we can just do some more of this. And then I'm sure we have, like, infrastructure problems somewhere. So let's try and whack those moles. They're not offering us an obligation, so we will say no, kindly. Are you just having a hard time employing? That's part of the problem. It's not all the problem, though. Mm. I'm gonna wait to see if these guys back down or not, but then we are gonna call it a session here. That's a big one, getting trench. Uh, could go automatic machine guns, that's not spreading into us. Could just go something over here. Plastics is actually a decent look. Let's go plastics. Reason why is because we have so much oil, we can actually make good use of the plastics. Maybe we can make furniture here. I mean, yeah, we should still have that huge surplus of infrastructure. I think we're gonna delete some of the railroads actually, which we should have done forever ago, but. We don't need the infrastructure. It is, in fact, making our subsidies more expensive because it's making all the other railroads less profitable. So we should see a little bit of a dip here. And Persia has decided to back down. Now can we export stuff to you? We're going to take a look at the market. They need engines, but they also need, like... Okay, so we should be able to export 
to them clothes. Why can't we export clothes to you guys? We opened your market and everything. I guess we do want to export clothes to all these guys. Um, weird. So we're just going to do a quick run through here. And look, and we're looking to see, try and get people in our customs union. These guys won't accept. We're just going to wait until the bankroll uh, gets us. We don't want to give them... We could give them an obligation. Oop. Sorry, we could give them an obligation to get them in the market, but we're just going to wait until we get uh, an obligation. Or sorry, yeah, we could give them an obligation. We're just going to wait until our bankroll earns us an obligation with them. Um, and see, Dagestan, we can invite them to Customs Union. They won't accept, and they're not that close to accepting, so what we'll do is we'll just absolve the obligation, which brings them up to friendly. Eventually, they'll get off of cautious. Probably once we're no longer, once we get below 25 infamy, which is why we kind of want this, have this infamy target of being under 25. These guys, they're cautious. If they were not cautious, since they're friendly, they would be pretty accepting of a customs union. In Chile, we will just absolve the obligation to take them to Cordial. And who are, are we improving relations with anyone who's above port? No. So these guys, once we're no longer, once our relations are no longer bad with them, we will look to start bankrolling Persia, try and get them into our customs union. Um, this is like the long-term plan, expand the customs union, more people in the customs union, more people to siphon off pops from. Uh, also more demand for consumer goods, so it allows you to build taller a little bit. Kind of looking to, I'm a little tempted to annex Egypt because I really want more states actually. Um, like, I'd rather have put this furniture manufactory somewhere else. Um, I suppose I could have put it over here, but I don't want to actually incorporate Basara or Baghdad because oil's going to appear. Well, maybe Baghdad. I can't remember oil appears in Baghdad, but Basara, a ton of oil will appear, and we do want to get the 10% throughput bonus on the colonial exploitation, which means we have to not incorporate it uh, on the oil at least, which is one of the reasons we didn't incorporate the Tuco Coast. Uh, we could incorporate, I suppose, Oman, which does not have such a big bonus, and I believe now we would incorporate 20 years incorporation, so that takes a while. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, you know, do the YouTube algorithm stuff. Big thing that happened this episode was uh, we got free of Russia, and so now we are our own market. If we take a look, we have the Armenian market, which is still quite large. The Russian market is very large as well. Um, they got pretty big off the fact that we were in there and we were providing a ton of cheap consumer goods, which allowed them to export a lot, which allowed them to pull people into their market pretty easily. Now they won't have that situation. In fact, Russia is probably going to collapse over the next couple episodes, but we'll see. Uh, anyways, have a good one.